Hello viewers, welcome back. So this is part 21 of our series of session on Tally's release 3.0, where we are covering the GST module. And this is the third episode with regards to stat adjustment that we have been learning. So in this session, we will understand yet another stat adjustment that is a reversal of input tax credit. If the dealer is claimed input tax credit, there are various sections and rule which specifies that the ineligible input tax credit under those conditions which needs to be reversed if they have claimed it. So we will see today the reversal related to non-payment of the supplier invoice beyond 180 days. The rule specifies that if the dealer is claimed input tax credit on their inward supply and if the bill is outstanding for more than 180 days, they are supposed to reverse the input tax credit that they have claimed in the month where the outstanding is exceeding 180 days. And subsequently, whenever they make the payment, they can reclaim the input tax credit which they have reversed it. That is what we will see how to handle this in Tally. Let us go to Tally and explore this option and find out how we can handle this reversal and reclaim of input tax credit. First, let us view the purchase entries. So I'm going to go to profit and loss account. So the total purchase as on 15th of October is 5 lakh enter. And if you notice here in the month of April, there is a purchase from a supplier from Delhi for 1 lakh where the input tax credit the dealer is claimed is 18,000. So this bill is entered on 1st of April and till the month of October, this amount is pending. So let us go to the second invoice, which is in the month of June. They have made a purchase from Karnataka supplier for 2 lakh and they have claimed input tax credit of CGST and SGST. And again, this bill is outstanding. It is not yet paid. The third purchase is in the month of October. They have made a purchase from a Telangana supplier for 2 lakh again. And the input tax credit that they have claimed is 36,000. Now, as per GST law, the rule 37 sub rule 2 specifies that if the payment to the supplier is not made or if it is outstanding beyond 180 days, then whatever is the input tax credit that they have claimed they are supposed to reverse it. Now let us see how we can view the unpaid bill which are outstanding for more than 180 days. It's very simple in tally. All you have to do is just click on go to and just type overdue payables and select overdue payables. Now when you notice here the first April invoice is still pending and if you see here it says it is overdue by 197 days that means it is cross the threshold of 180 days as per the law which means the 18,000 input tax credit that the dealers claimed in the month of April the dealer is supposed to reverse this input tax credit so that is what we will see as the first example how are we going to reverse the claim of 18,000 in the month where it exceeds the 180 days so as of October it is exceeded 180 days and now we have to reverse it so how do we do that now we have to use the stat adjustment so we will go to the journal voucher the date will be 31st of october which is the last day of the month and now you have to select that adjustment the adjustment is towards gst and now we have this nature of adjustment that we are going to select as reversal of input tax credit so select reversal of input tax credit and the additional nature of adjustment we are going to now select the additional nature as non-payment to supplier which is specified by rule 37 sub rule 2 so select this and now we are going to pass this entry. So we are going to debit the 18,000 which you have claimed as input tax credit. We can now add it to our purchase cost. The amount is 18,000 and we are going to now credit IGST since we have claimed IGST in the month of April. Enter. The rate is going to be 18% and the taxable value is 1 lakh. So GST detail, we will have to specify that the type of supply is 
goods and we are going to save this now let us view the gst return for the month of october and see the impact of this transaction if you notice here gstr 3b input tax credit available is 36000 that is when you enter here we saw a purchase of 2 lakhs for the month of october from telangana supplier which they are claiming 36000 that is what is getting reflected here as input tax credit available now the next thing is input tax credit reversed 18000 has been reversed so when you press enter here if you observe here the reverse is be captured under the table of others enter and we will see the journal entry that we have passed so this is the journal entry that we have passed to reverse the entry so the input credit available for the month of october is 36000 against the purchase for the month of october and the reversal of the non payment of the invoice for the month of april is now being reversed and the net input tax credit available is 18000 now let us take example 2 let's say this dealer is now made the payment to the supplier in the month of november now since he is cleared the liability the law very clearly specifies that is rule 37 2 says that if you have made the payment to the supplier and if you have reversed the input tax credit you are now eligible to claim input tax credit or reclaim the input tax credit that you have reversed in the month where you have made the payment so now as per our example the dealer has made the payment in the month of november so now we are going to reclaim the input tax credit so how are we going to reclaim this again pass journal entry and select the appropriate adjustment flag so we will change the date as 30th of november and now again select start adjustment the type of duty tax is towards gst and now the nature of adjustment is we have to now increase input tax credit which is that we are reclaiming so when you click on increase input tax credit as the nature of adjustment now you will have additional nature of adjustment you have to now select the appropriate additional nature of adjustment if you come down here reclaim of reversal of input tax credit on account of buyer's payment so since the dealer has made the payment to the supplier in the month of november you are going to select this flag to reclaim enter and now since we have credited the igst you will debit igst to reclaim it so select igst again the rate is going to be 18 percent amount is 1 lakh amount is 18,000. and now we can credit the purchase ledger since we had debited the purchase ledger again under provide gst detail we are going to select the supplies towards goods and we are going to accept this so now in the month of november this 18,000 rupees is going to be available for the dealer as input tax credit so let us view the gstr 3b return we are viewing the return for the month of november now 18,000 is shown under table 4a which is input tax credit available which is 18,000 which we are reclaiming you can drill down from here to view the transaction detail but important thing here is if you come down here you will now observe that under table 4d1 it says that itc reclaimed which was reversed under table 4b2 in the earlier tax period so we had reversed it in the month of october and now we are reclaiming it in the month of november when you enter it is going to give you the voucher what is the nature of adjustment that we have selected and the transaction detail it is going to give you if you select this you will go inside the voucher and these values have to be reflected in the respective table for us to be properly compliant with the gst law i hope this video would have given you a fair idea of how you can handle this exception of reversing of input tax credit for which the bills have not been paid beyond 180 days. And also we saw how we can reclaim the reversed input tax credit once the bill has been paid off. Thank you all once again for staying till the end. See you all in the next session. Thank you very much.